setting up the moon wallet you're just going to open the app and create a pin is the first thing you're going to do and confirm it to set your up your moon wallet and it's going to pop you in just to say welcome and then first thing you want to do is the security section back up your wallet right there as it says and you're going to want to go in to that and the first section is going to say do you want to use your recovery method of course you do but the first one is email you do not want to do that so I believe the only way is just to go in, hit it, and then just say you want to abort it, basically. So you'll, you'll abort this. I don't want to use my email. Abort it. Yes, I'm sure. And then this pops you back out to create an alternative backup. This is where you're going to write your code on paper to recover your wallet. And this is where you're going to jot down your eight-word phrase, pushing start there. And you confirm your recovery code. Uh, this is the second page. I already wrote it down. And then I'm confirming it here and writing it back in to make sure the right one. Then the next page is things you must understand. You check those off. And the next page is success. Great. And then we go into the main screen after we say, nope, I don't want an emergency kit. I did not do that. I did it on one of my wallets. I didn't do it on the other one. But we don't really need that. So now we just simply, you're in. So now you can send or receive. This is on Bitcoin on chain if you're receiving from an exchange or you do lightning uh, if you want to do peer-to-peer -peer payments across the world quickly. And we want to change this dollar denomination to dollars. At least I did because I didn't want to send five Bitcoin. I want to send five dollars. So Lightning, uh, you can create the invoice at the bottom. You can see in the settings. And this is the uh, section that you obviously want to create an invoice or because uh, this is going to be the receiver phone. So receiving funds and saying, hey, this is the invoice I want. So I believe here we just sent a dollar uh, first. Actually, we're going to cross this out and then do a dollar. So we want to just create that invoice. See, it generates a new one there. It's a one-time code use. You can email it. You can text it. You can share it. Um, or you can use the QR code, obviously, which we'll do here in a second. So that's how you uh, request funds or create invoices, whether you're a business or whether you're just a normal person. Obviously, making it super, super easy. So then we're going to pop up the other phone use you can see we just did one test dollar um, just straight up uh, with an invoice and now we're going to use the sender phone to say what they want to pay on their side so no invoice we're just going to say hey the sender is going to use a qr code this time instead of texting an invoice so we're going to use the qr code and we're going to say hey we want four dollars uh, so we're going to put four dollars in there and we're just going to say yes confirm write a little note in there whatever it's for it's for pizza this one's just a test obviously so we're going to hit the uh, test and then we're going to confirm that note, confirm transaction. And you can see it's, you know, a couple cents of a transaction fee. It's usually a couple sats or whatever it might be. Very, very cheap. And then there you can see, done. Immediately instantaneous file settlement. Good to go.